Hey Technoholic fam, Pritam here. And if your Windows 11 is not showing the Wi-Fi option anywhere, then not to worry guys, in this video, I will help you to troubleshoot and get a Wi-Fi backup. But before we dive into fixes, let's also check if your PC actually have Wi-Fi hardware installed or not. Because if it does not, then no settings will fix it. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, to check if your PC has a Wi-Fi adapter, we can follow the following steps. Let's press Windows button and type for Device Manager. And there we have it. Let's open it. And here we go. So here we need to look inside Network Adapter, okay? And here we can see we do have got this Intel Wi-Fi 6E Network Adapter, which means that my system do have Wi-Fi, but it does not show up either here or even in Windows settings. Okay, so that's a good news that we know that we do have hardware available and this issue is only related to Windows 11. The next thing here we're going to do is if my hardware is okay or not. For that, uh, let's again go here in menu button and type for CMD and open it. Now here you need to type the following which is ping and then um, this local host which is 127.0.0.1. So if there is a response, which means that your hardware is fine and it's just a software issue. And there we go. Here we can see we are receiving reply from our hardware. Okay. So that means that your hardware is fine. Now let's move on to how we can resolve this Wi-Fi issue. The fastest way to fix the network issue is just by resetting your networking setting. And it is very easy guys in case of Windows 11, just you need to click on Windows menu and then go to settings, then look for network and internet. So here we have, and then we need to look for advanced network setting. Now here we need to look for network reset, just click on it and then click on reset now. And what will happen when you press reset now, it will reset all your internet settings. And once you restart, check if Wi-Fi option is available here or not. If that is available, then it's well and good. If not, then you can check for this next option, which is enabling Wi-Fi using auto config service. For that, let's press Windows button and R. And then here we need to type services.msc. Now let's hit OK. Now we need to look for WLAN auto configuration option. So let me scroll it down and reach to W and there we go. So here we need to make sure that it is automatically getting started. And um, here in my particular case, it is automatic. So um, I do not need to do anything. Okay. So we need to make sure that the startup type is automatic. Now again, I'm going to click OK. And again, I would suggest you to restart your system and see if your problem is resolved or not. If that is even not the case, then um, what we can do is we can go to device manager by pressing windows and X or even we can simply type here device manager. And there we go. We need to look for network adapter and here we do have got this Wi-Fi 6E option available. So make a right click and go to properties. And then let's go to driver tab and here we need to click on update driver. And then um, if you are connected to internet, let's say through ethernet, then you can go with search automatically for drivers. Or um, if you are offline, then you can click on browse my computer for driver and then select this option, which says, let me pick a list of driver. And then from here, you need to choose the latest version of driver or uh, you can choose one driver at a time and another at a time to see which one work for you. And then you can click on next and then in this way guys we can install Wi-Fi driver. Now even in case update driver also doesn't work for you, what we can do is uh, we can reinstall the Wi-Fi adapter. And for that again um, let's go to menu and then uh, device manager look for network adapters and then um, simply select the network adapter make a right click and click on uninstall device okay and then in this way you will uninstall your device and then i would suggest you to restart your pc 
and windows will automatically reinstall driver for you if in case that's not the case then again you can go back to device manager and then um you can basically um install driver manually or i would suggest you to download driver from oem site or even from motherboard manufacturer site and i would say it is easy to see of which brand of motherboard you own for that here you need to press windows in r and if you type ms info 32 and hit enter here you will find the system manufacturer so in my case it is microstar international which is also known as msi so in this way we will able to find the motherboard manufacturer and um, motherboard model number as you can see here which will help you to download the driver from system website and this should definitely resolve your issue finally if nothing else work let's reset your network setting using command prompt for that again um, we need to click on menu button and then type cmd and let's run it as administrator now you need to type the following command which is net sh winsock reset and then hit enter so this will basically reset your whole uh, winsock catalog after that you need to type another command which is net sh int ip reset so these both command will clear out any corrupt network setting that might be causing this issue by now your wi-fi should be backed up and running in windows 11 and i think it happened in my case you can see here my wi-fi network as well as uh, ethernet is up and running and if that's the case then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to technoholic as we keep on bringing more such productivity tips tricks and videos in this channel and i will see you soon in the next one till then you take care and bye bye